What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this dreamy slow motion effect. It's an effect that I've been keeping for a while, but you know we don't do gatekeeping on this channel, so I'm going to spill all the sauce, so make sure to stick around until the end, that way you can add that super cool effect to your arsenal. Also before we start, if you've been thinking of getting my all-in-one bundle, where you can get all of my editing packs, my future packs, there is no much better time to get it than that. Because on October 1st, I'm going to be increasing the price, so make sure to check it out down below. It is the best offer that I have on my website by far, probably that I will ever have, so make sure to take advantage of that. With that said, let's get ready right into this tutorial. All right, so we have this young phase of music video pulled up. So the first thing we need to do is slow all of this down. And the effect that I love the most when it comes to slowing down music videos is the time warp effect. So let's slap it on our layer right here. And then for the speed, you're gonna see this is not the same frame. That is because we need to put it at 100 first. Oh, that's kind of funny. But what the hell? Oh, yeah. what? So we need to put it at 100 first. That way we get our clip. And we're gonna keyframe it, click on speed on the stopwatch, and then let's go a few frames further, maybe like right there, and we're gonna make it eight. That way we're gonna have this. So as you can see, you get this super cool slow motion right here. So I might make it like maybe something like 15. And now we're gonna have this right here. So what we need to do is we're gonna go to CC cross blur, and that's gonna allow us to have that really cool blur that we have within the effect and we're gonna use solely the radius x and as you can see you get this super cool like dreamy effect so at the beginning we're also gonna keyframe it from uh, like the radius x and then at the end right here let's make it yeah like 160 that is pretty cool now we're gonna have this so as you can see we're getting a bit of that dreamy slow motion effect but not quite yet we're gonna add some contrast to it we're gonna do that by adding the curves effect so we're really gonna go and like dig into like the low lights as you can see real quick before we continue with the tutorial i need to put you onto my brand new preset pack new wave effects v2 if you want to stand out as an editor, have crazy transitions, grungy transitions, trippy transitions, a bunch of presets that are going to make you stand out and that fit the whole new wave aesthetic from artists like Fake Mink, Ned Spen, Che, and many more, this is the pack for you. There are over 30 plus drag and drop presets that you can simply slap on any adjustment layer and will instantly transform your videos. This is one of my favorite packs I've ever made. Creators love it and I use it on every single one of my projects. The presets will be sent to you instantly after you purchase. If you want to copy it, I'll even have a code for 15% off down below make sure you check it out with that said let's get right into this tutorial so we're gonna do we're gonna keyframe this at the beginning as usual and then further on we're just gonna decrease the low light just like this that way we're gonna have a cool effect right now we're not really seeing how cool the effect is because we're gonna add a few effects that's gonna really add to it like flickers stuff like that but for now we have this pretty cool Actually, we're going to put some grain before the curves. So let's just change the viewing mode to final output. That way we see what we're doing. And I like unchecking, actually checking the monochromatic because uh, I don't like colored noise. I don't know why. And then we're going to have this. So the intensity is going to be at one. So we're going to start off by having the intensity at zero. And then at the end, we're going to have it at two. And then the next effect is going to be this tint effect that we're gonna apply. So you're, you're gonna see like how this works. So, so basically I do like at the beginning, there's like no effect, like the initial effect. And then we jump into like this super cool effect that we're gonna have. So there I put the about at a hundred. Now let's look at what we have. Now we have this super cool, like black and white effect. Now let's add on to it. Then we're gonna do like a flicker effect. So I'm gonna use the exposure effect. I gotta make this like a preset or something because I keep doing it every time. We're gonna put it after the curves effect and then we're gonna do alt click. We're gonna do wiggle. So eight times per second and then let's do two. Damn, two is usually a lot in intensity. So let's see what that looks like. So I really like the flicker. I wonder if I should put it like before the grain. Yeah, that looks pretty dope, but I think we're gonna do like 12 and then one instead. Let's look at what that looks like. That looks fire. This is looking fire. So we're gonna stick with this for sure. Now we're gonna create that like orange tint that makes it like so dreamy. That makes it stand out so much. Let's go. So we're gonna do that by going to Lumetri Color, slapping it on. So we're gonna go into basic correction. So in the beginning, as usual, we're gonna click on temperature 
tint saturation we're gonna wait for that one so let's go to uh, also contrast bam and then right here we're gonna put the temperature to something hotter so as you can see ooh, there's like the orange there's the orange and we're gonna increase the tint as well. There's the orange, my boy. And desaturation, I'm gonna make it flicker. So I think in the beginning, let's make it like 100. And then at the end, maybe something like 40, because we're gonna actually make desaturation flicker. So let's do, I'll click on this. And then we're gonna type wiggle parentheses 12 times per second. That might be too much, maybe like six and then comma and then let's do 40. let's see what that looks like oh that looks hard yeah that looks super tough but i think i might do like 12 and then maybe like crank it up like 60. let's see what that looks like so that's what i like the most to be honest like the fact that you get like sometimes it's black and white sometimes it's orange i might like crank that up honestly because i really like I want to see the contrast. Like I want, I want it to be like black and white sometimes. Sometimes like really orange. That's the look we're aiming for. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's fire. That's super fire. Now I love the way this looks, but I'm always a fan of giving like your looks a bit of like that vintage feel. So we want a choppy effect. Like this is like too smooth right now. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna go and type poster next time, and we're gonna put it before the exposure i'm sorry like i didn't do everything in order like i don't know i'm just letting my mind be creative and give me like some fire effects so we're gonna make the frame rate eight there we go let's see what that looks like now you really get like that vintage i don't know that looks so fire to me like it's really like that dreamy slow motion vibe i think the last thing we're gonna add is a vignette so we're gonna animate a vignette so at the beginning we're gonna make the amount of zero we want to make sure that the center is at his face because that's where we want to focus and then at the end let's increase that bad boy up sometimes this looks good like pin highlights in this case i don't know so i'm really rocking with it let's see what that looks like Sheesh. that looks so clean that looks so fire by the way this effect that i just showed you we did it from scratch together if next time you don't feel like doing it from scratch every single time, it's actually a preset out of my new wave FX V2 presets. We have all of them there as you can see. So basically it's 30 plus drag and drop presets that fit like the new wave aesthetic that you're gonna see from like the emerging artists, the really far editors. So for example, if I remove this, bam, I could just slap dreamiest slow-mo and then bam, we have this super sick effect right here. So like new wave FX V2 comes with so many like let's say for example like transitions like you can get you want grungy presets you want trippy presets like huge variety of presets like for example you got like transitions here like swipe flash for example all you gotta do is drag and drop it you have this sick transition we could do another just layer add insane red hit to go into the next one boom you get this sick shape right here so I use it on all of my projects. They're super fire. If you want to check them out, half and double. Now with that said, let's look at our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. Also, please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you want next on this channel so I can cover it for you guys. Also, if you want to go snag the all-in-one bundle that allows you to have all of my editing packs, my future packs, and so much more that I'll explain down below in the description. I'll leave it there. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.